on location at three of Victoria's oldest churches. I'm James Green, and you're watching Go Island on Shore TV. On today's show, Dan finds his inner space with a visit to an isolation tank and untapping our potential. A special woman in James Bay wants you to live the best life possible. All that and mum's homemade apple pie, right here on Go Island. It's a spiritual, feel-good type of show today on Go Island. My name's James Green, thanks for joining us. And we're gonna be looking at three of Victoria's oldest churches. Later in the show, we'll visit St. Andrew's Cathedral at Douglas and View Street, and St. John the Divine on Quadra. But let's begin the story with the church that's directly behind me. It's called the First Metropolitan United Church, and it's celebrating its 100th birthday this year. Built in 1914, this heritage building is also the headquarters for the Daniel Lapp School of Music and the Intercultural Association of Greater Victoria. When it comes to the church side of things, Reverend Alan Saunders has been leading this congregation for 12 years. Uh, there's a few hundred uh, households involved and uh, uh, so there's a lot of diverse activity going on for us. In this space, of course, number one for us is worship uh, every Sunday at 11 as well as our nine o'clock chapel service, uh, memorials, weddings, and all those sorts of uh, occasions. But it's also a place where there's a lot of community happening. Uh, right now it's uh, set up for the Philharmonic. Uh, later on we'll be uh, celebrating Cathalmu choirs here, uh, four evenings with the Jazz uh, Society, with their international festival, uh, uh, our Buddhist singers. And so it goes. So music is, is a big part of the life of our congregation. Oh, and as for their grand piano under the cover, Canadian jazz legend, Oscar Peterson, his signature right there, 1982. Uh, we started something called The Open Door, which has evolved into our place and are still actively connected with it. We've worked with BC Housing for a 74 unit uh, housing project. Uh, our two key guides are spiritual growth and community engagement. The United Church of Canada is the largest Protestant denomination in the country, the result of a religious merger back in 1925. Membership climbed and peaked in 1964 with 1 1.1 million members, but numbers have been declining ever since. I would like to thank Reverend Alan Saunders for showing us around the first Met, and next on the show we're going to be looking at St. John the Divine, but first, here's a story about being alone. Do you like to be alone? Well, Dan Kahn swooped in on a new business that might help you find solitude. Go Island on location at three of Victoria's oldest churches. We've visited the First Metropolitan United. Now we're inside St. John the Divine with the Reverend Alistair McCollum. Uh, you've only just got here. Yeah, I'm a new boy uh, from England, 10 months um, to uh, an Anglican church, part of a worldwide Anglican group. So I've just kind of changed to a different branch of the firm really. Now, the first metropolitan church that we looked at already, that's uh, the United Church of Canada. What's the difference between that and, say, a congregation that comes to worship here? The Anglican Church of Canada, of which this is a part, is uh, in a long way connected to the Church of England. So the Church of England came out of Henry VIII wanting to get remarried, and there was a bit of history around that. And Was that when the they end, were feuding with the Catholics as well? Well, he never thought he was feuding with the Catholics. Henry remained a Catholic till he died, but he just stopped listening to the Pope. Tell us about this building, because uh, there was a, an original building here that burnt down in a fire. Pretty much. Uh, this building was rebuilt in 1960. It was a 1917 building originally. All the stained glass windows around here are new, but the ones over there have been uh, here since it was built. And they've still got the heat cracks where some of it melted uh, in the fire. The roof is meant to look like a ship because all this area is called the nave and it's from the same word, navy. And it's meant to be like Noah's Ark. We're all in the same boat. At the side of the church are the aisles and through the middle is the nave. So brides don't get married down the aisle? No, they don't come down the aisle. It's a popular misconception. The spiritual journey continues here on Go Island with this next story. Raji Kabli heads to James Bay where she meets a very special woman who has the ability to help you unlock your potential. Thank you for that story, Raji. We're having a very spiritual episode of Go Island today. 
which is why we're on location from some of Victoria's oldest churches. Now we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got Grow Your Game giving you some golf tips and the Arbutus RV Island Adventure, which takes us to the Horn Lake Caves. And I'll be taking you to the St. Andrew's Cathedral on View Street. Welcome back to Go Island, and we're now at St. Andrew's Cathedral in Victoria, a Catholic place of worship designed by Montreal-based architects. It's actually an identical replica to one that exists in Vaudreuil, Quebec. When was this cathedral built? Uh, it was actually, the process began in 1882. It was actually, construction began in 1890, and the church was consecrated uh, when Vancouver Island became a diocese in 1892. Explain the difference between a church and a cathedral. Well, the, most of the differences are visible on the inside because the cathedral is the seat of the bishop, who's the head of the Catholic diocese, in this particular case, the diocese of Vancouver Island. The high Victorian Gothic structure is represented here by all the arches. If you look around the cathedral, it is really a series of arches, both in both directions, that way and that way, which support the roofs and the clusteries on the side. Uh, what's the capacity in here? And, uh, and tell us about your congregation. Uh, the capacity in here at Easter time, when the church is usually its fullest, we had, so this year we had 1,300 people in attendance. Uh, there's approximately 1,000 parishioners registered. That's um, some of those are families, some of those are individuals. Now, of course, a church, or indeed a cathedral, is a good place to take a quiet moment from your busy life and pray or reflect. Now, the cathedral at St. Andrews is open daily between 9 and 5 in order for you to be able to come and visit. And if you want to attend a mass service, it's every day at noon. The spiritual journey on Go Island comes to a close. Thanks for joining us. My name's James Green. Now, we're going to be on location next week at Victoria's City Hall. And some of the places that are in that building are going to blow your mind. If you have any story ideas, there's contact information coming up at the end of the show. We'll see you next time. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.